Yes, good morning, people. I hope everyone's doing well. Absolute crack of dawn, and I thought, let's give them a video first thing. So let's get straight into it. Oh, yeah, what's happening, guys? Are we all good? Now, there must be something in the air at the moment, you know, because I've got major morons who, like, don't understand what you're saying, who keep wanting a back and forth. Now, the first one, let's talk about Jimmy Newman, the first plonker on the list today. Jimmy has gone away from YouTube. As we all know, he's very fragile mentally, is Jimmy. Um, bit of a mummy's boy. Bit strange, you know. Had a mental breakdown when people were having a back and forth, because that's all this YouTube is, you know. A back and forth, as we all seen. He had a breakdown. He was desperate to try and get his hands on JDP. He wanted to that much. He bought a train ticket. The only problem was, as the next day came, his courage left with the day before, wasn't it, Jim? Now, he's gone away now, and as he's been telling me, he's feeling strong, he's feeling fit. So what, Jimmy? You've had to delete your channel, go away for three months and do a load of training to come back and try and call me out for a strike now. <laughs> oh, you're a a moron, lad. Tell me, yeah, how I've been in your head rent-free for months, kid, and you've been training your life off. Now, you're also trying to say to me, yeah, that you're going to come and you're going to do this and that. And uh, so if I knew anything... You'd know that size doesn't matter in a fight. Well, I think you'll find out, Jimmy, yeah, that in boxing, MMA, all these sorts of things, there's weight classes. And you know why there's weight classes? For a reason, yeah, because size does matter. Now, yeah, agreed. If it was a fat idiot like myself and like someone like Terence Crawford, obviously Terence Crawford's going to absolutely punch your head in. But when it's two geezers on the same level and one just happens to be five or six stone heavier, I'd put my money on that one, especially when it's me v you. Trust me. So, hopefully Jimmy sticks to his word this time. Next week, he doesn't cash his train ticket in and he comes and turns up. I will get someone to video that for you guys. And Jimmy's going to do a little speech afterwards as well. So, keep your eyes open for that. Also, we've got the crayon eater in Thailand. Now, I'm not even going to say his name because he's major irrelevant. You're trying to say, Jimmy, that I'm jealous of you. How would I be jealous of you, bro? You've got 3,000 subs, you do 50 views a video. I would give up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd give up, bro. Simple as that. On my channel with about 20 subscribers, I do more views than you. Like, give up, you absolute plonker. Um, yeah, not really much else to say, you know. A couple of major crayon eaters. But it does seem to be people call Jimmy are a bit special these days. We've got Jimmy Newman, who's like... Well, we all know about Jimmy anyway, don't we? What sort of 40-year-old 40, 40 man? He's married, has zero kids, lives with his mum, rubs her feet and gets aroused. <laughs> These are the people I'm dealing with. Now, the one over in Thailand, the strange one in Thailand, I'm trying to make out that um, I'm trying to talk about autistic people. Now, no, no, no. I'm not talking about people with genuine uh, mental health issues. I'm talking about crayon eaters, like yourself. You know, people who are a little bit thick, don't quite understand what you're saying. I'm not on about people with uh, real-life mental health issues. So, yeah, just clearing that one up. Thought we'd get a little one. Bright and early out for you today. And, yeah, we've got Jimmy Pooman, um, thinks he's 10 men again, calling everyone out for straighteners. As we all know, his courage ran away last time. His courage will probably run away this, this time. He is the scaredy lion. He's gone to Lanzarote to follow the yellow brick road and meet the Wizard of Oz. Hopefully, he's going to give him his courage that he's going to come back, call out JDP after he's done all these four or five months of training, whatever it is. Get a grip, Jim. Get a grip, man. Sort your head out. You must have things going on in your real actual life rather than to be bothered about what people are saying on YouTube, especially when Jimmy's trying to say the reason why he wants this straight now is because I said he trolled Chrissy. I never said you trolled Chrissy. Video Craig told us all you trolled Chrissy. And I just said, if you did troll Chrissy, it's out of order because she comes across as a nice woman. So that's not the reason, really, is it, Jimmy? You made your butt hurt because, you know, we all exposed you. As a plonker, I had you pulling out what hair you had left. Yeah, and a major breakdown, multiple channels deleted. And now you've had to go to the gym for months at a time to try and build up enough strength, build them little noodle arms so you can challenge JDP. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. I hope Jimmy comes this time. I proper, proper hope so, you know, because it'll give me a chance to prove a point, what I've been saying for a while. So, yeah, real ones, hit that like, hit that subscribe. 
Hope you've all enjoyed it. We'll see you all on the next one. Peace.